fly. Jay Leno fly. That's what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> Welcome to the show. How lovely to see you finally in person. Do you get? Do you? I heard that. Uh, I yeah, heard. I was going. Do people uh, say that a lot? Have, have you? Well, they no, they don't admit to all of that. They don't. No, they don't admit to the whole doodah that happens. It, was, it wasn't necessarily doodah. <laughs> No, it was do that. No, you're right. It was do that. <laughs> have you still? I, I hate to ask. Have you still got that uh, fur bikini? Um, actually, I do. Really? Yes, I do. I know. I kept all of my, you know, that my body kind of uh, costumes over the years. Really, honestly, because you, they built them just especially for me. Be sure to. Uh, and, yeah. <laughs> and you know, I kind of felt like I was, and I was sort of part of creating them, and so I have them, and I suppose one day I will sort of form a little mini museum of, you know, that really? Myra Breckenridge and the one million years BC girl and the priestess of the whip and... Priestess all. of the whip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah. I think there's actually a club called Priestess of the Whip up in West Hollywood somewhere out there. I think it is. No, it's, now, tell me about, about the show that you're doing on CBS. Is it, uh, Oh, the captain. Yeah. Um, yes, well, the captain actually refers to the building, which is El Capitan. And it's a special building because it's kind of a landmark building in old Hollywood that in the 30s was where all the big stars and so forth stayed, oh. especially when they were starting out in the business. And so now it's today. And um, today we have like all this, well, we, it's a sort of a loosely knit family. Yes. And uh, I am one of the people in the building. I am. You play a, the Hollywood star, obviously. I, I play a Hollywood star who is sort of, you know, now, um, you know, not so young anymore. That's and so ridiculous. The casting is all wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, you know, it, I, I look good until I'm standing next to a 19-year-old, and yeah. then it's not so. I, I, we all look good until we're standing next to a 19-year-old, and then, and then there's but, the whole, you know, five years. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the, no, the, uh, the, the, now you've you've been working in Hollywood for for a number of years. Well, yeah. it's, it's, it's very were things kind different to for tell. the for the young the young stars then the young ladies. Oh uh, well. Mm -hmm. Because you've got the TMZ yeah, now and everything, the following you around. Yes, that's right. There wasn't, there wasn't so much of that. In fact, when I was in Europe making quite a number of pictures, because One Million Years BC actually, my breakthrough film was actually done in the Canary Islands for a British company. Right. And we worked out of ABPC Studios. You maybe remember that. It's over... Yes, never, yes. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, you're... Oh, you're s he's so much younger than I am. <laughs> that's why. Um, no, not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got the poster, by the way. If you've still got the bikini, I still have the poster. Oh. It's in my office. Oh, well, maybe I could... Uh... Come and see it? <laughs> I'm only... I'm, I'm only could, kidding. I don't I have an office. I autograph yeah. it. You autograph... He, well, he autographed his book for me, and that was very nice. Yes, I have. Uh, but actually, I've already read the book, so now I can pass it along to somebody else. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, yes, oh, re-gifting. He's, he's quite... He's, <laughs> <laughs> Gifting, that's all right. Oh, no, I'm Are gonna, you a very frugal no, person? I'm, no, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the one with your inscription on oh, it. Oh, I give away myself, the one. Myself, right. yes. But the other one that I read, I don't know if I dog eared it or not, though. But anyway, I could pass that along because you're, you're really a very accomplished writer. I was Thank quite, you very much indeed. No, really, it, yeah. it was very. It was a, Did, I could read out the dirty bits to you if you want to get oh. <laughs> Well, you know, it was funny because as I was reading it, I was, I watched the show and I was reading the book because it got good reviews and I like to read it. So I'm reading along and I'm thinking, I, I, I can't figure this guy out. Is he a theologian? Is he a kind of a romantic adventure? Or is he just a sex addict? <laughs> you know, it's fair, there are fair questions. Fair questions. And I have to say, these are the questions I ask myself every morning. <laughs> Because there were a lot of dirty bits in it. There's a lot of dirty I, bits and, in and it. And they were quite uh, original. Do you... Oh, really? Thank you. 
And, and that's just the written down stuff. <laughs> do you do you do you read a lot of dirty books? <laughs> I didn't think whatever it is, it was, uh, uh, what, be between the bridge and the river didn't sound too... Book, yeah. Yes, I didn't think that sounded too racy. No, no, no. But, but do you do you like the, the, the heaving bosom kind of body stripper books? You know, with Fabio on the cover? No, 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 no. Not you, so much, not so do you, much. Is that what you look for in a man, a kind of Fabio type, big muscly kind oh, of Oh, gosh, thing? no, I don't think so. Really? No, I mean, I really... The muscle ought to be up here in the brain category. Right, yeah. <laughs> By the same token, if, if he has a six-pack and a nice ass, that, that's okay too. Right, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, Fabio slash Arthur Miller is basically no, what you're looking no, for. No, right? no, no. Actually, no offense to Fabio, but I really, he's not really my cup of tea. Not, not, not for the real thing. Right, well, what, what is your cup of tea for the real thing? Then? <laughs> well, you know, I haven't made up my mind yet. I've been married four times and I still haven't figured out what it is that I really want. Really? <laughs> Four times. I know, isn't it outrageous? It's fantastic. Yeah. It is. I've been married twice. I felt so bad about it. I feel so much better now. No. <laughs> I, do. I, mean, I know. I, I feel. I feel is a terrible failure. I can't figure out what what it is that I'm not doing right or what it is I don't get. Do, do you know what I mean? I, I, I feel like there's something that I, I should be getting, and I and, feel there's something you should be getting. <laughs> It's, it's kind of like I, I started to figure it out the other day, and I was thinking, my, the first, my first husband, Jim Welch, which is, I have two children by him, and right. that's how I got the name Welch, right. and I kept it for the children, and, um, you know, he was the only one that I chose. The other three all kind of chose me and pursued me, right. and I figured... He kind of, no offense to the other three. Right. And they, but, they're probably um, watching as well, yeah. <laughs> you never, well, one of them's a frog. I mean, he's French. Oh, right. And so he won't be watching. But, um... <laughs> you know, French people are allowed to watch CBS. <laughs> oh, no! That's, that's in the citizenship test, really? actually, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they, they say, are French people allowed to watch network television? <laughs> On occasion, CBS. No, no but he, he's, he, was, he wasn't a French citizen. He's back in, uh, you oh. know. Yes, he's back in France. Right. And, uh, uh, but anyway, I just, and, um, oh, what happened? Well, you're, oh, but anyway, you're, they, yeah, they all sort of, you know, chose, they chose me. You, yeah. And now I figured that since the first guy, my first husband, Welch, was the best choice. Right. Um... What, maybe I'd better go back to choosing, choosing for one. myself. Yeah, well, what are you going to choose then? Uh, hmm? That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> if, if you're looking for one to choose, let the gentleman know. Oh, maybe well. one or two nearby. What you're looking for? Um, well, are you, are you auditioning? <laughs> I... <laughs> Look. Let's, let's get our cards on no, the table. No. Let's get our cards on the table. I'm a guy. You're Raquel Welsh. Yes, of course, I'm a guy. No. <laughs> You've seen this from men before, I, I, I'm sure. Well, uh, uh, does, it get, does it get boring for you? Well, I don't think it's boring at no. all. But, you know, it's, it's kind of that I... I, I uh, I've sort of given up with a much younger man thing. I, right. I don't think that that's a, a real good uh, idea for me to continue with. The, the <laughs> really? last one was 14 years younger than me, and you know, uh, yeah, a wonderful man, but it was just not, no, just never, no. It was, right. So I, I feel that that's kind of like the younger guy is like a, an advertising thing. Everybody thinks it's going to be so fabulous because he's younger, mm. just like with a guy. Yes, yes. You see an older man, and he's got a fabulous, very hot chick mm. who's really much younger, and you think it's all really happening, and it, it's often not the case. <laughs> I'm saying is the advertising is no guarantee of what that's you're going to get. That's true. You don't true. If you're looking at the box, it might be much smaller when you open it up. Yes. <laughs> We're completely out of time. It's lovely to finally meet you. Raquel Wells, everybody. We'll be right back. Yes, it's that fancy. You can't even call it a book. You have to call it the Buke. <laughs> this Buke will debut at number three on the New York Times bestseller, like the... Thank
Well. Yes. My Craig, Lord, Craig, woman. Craig, Craig. Yes. yes. Uh, nothing really. All right. No, I was. I. I was just going to say, you look sensational. You. Uh, Thank you. Just, wow. We do our best. No, yeah, yeah. Well, you're all doing great. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. This is. You uh, don't have any penises. Um. Well, we, problem, we, we can get hold of one for you, probably. <laughs> Are there, we, uh. <laughs> you know, every I'm, time you're on the show, I'm kind of like. <laughs> no, but I, I think I figured out why the lizard has two penises. Oh, really? Why? Uh, because when the female lizard has sex with that lizard, right. she probably bites off the first penis and there has to be a spare. <laughs> Don't you think? Bites off the first <laughs> Well, you know, women can be kind of predatory from time to time. Yes, I, I didn't think I could be more attracted to you, but I am. <laughs> but I was just talking about cleavage tonight, which I never do on this show. <laughs> and I was talking about, and you, this, your book's called Beyond a Cleavage. You yes. probably know that because you wrote it. Yes, I, I did write it. Yeah, actually, there was a whole big doodah about the title of the book because they wanted to call it something much more banal. And I just, you know, I got together with a bunch of friends of mine. I said, we've got to find a fun title. And suddenly we came up with this one, called the publisher, and they said, oh, God, no. No? Oh, what's wrong with these people? They're going to be offend all the women out there. And I thought, why? Women aren't offended by cleavage, no, they no. have them. You know, <laughs> no. it's, it's, if your husband's got a cleavage, you're offended. It's not. <laughs> no, I, th I, I think. I don't have a husband. You, no, you don't? No, no, no. no, no. Uh, uh, you, you, you. Well, we went through that, yeah. I yeah. don't have a husband. I don't, I don't have number five yet. Have you been married four times? Yes, yes. Yeah, I've been married uh, three. Well, I'm on, I'm on number three and I'm staying at three. That's uh, uh, too safe. And yeah. you, you've been married since I last saw you. Yes, you since married. you were last year, I well, got congratulations. married. congratulations. Thank you very much indeed. I, uh, and here it is. Uh, just uh, proof. Yes, yes. You know. uh, <laughs> please, uh, I'm keeping a distance because it's one of the new remote ones. It can give you an electric shock. <laughs> It has a GPS system installed in it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So, so are you, have you been doing the round selling this thing? Are you doing book signings I have, and things? I have. I don't know if you can tell I'm a little husky. I thought it was just it was super sexiness. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I lost my voice. I was all over. I was in New York City and we did all this book tour thing. I'm sure you've been there and done that. I have, It's yes. very, very grueling. It's lots of fun, but it's just very grueling. I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> <laughs> did you think it was fun? Yes, I did. Really? Yes. Were you I, on The View? No, I wasn't Well, on that's the why you thought it was fun. <laughs> no, um, I was on Oprah, though, and, uh, wow. and yes, and, no. and she was lovely with me. And then I went to New York, and, and, and um, I was on GMA, and that, um, that um, George Stephanopoulos, he's rather cute, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's short, though, isn't he? <laughs> I'll just have some of my saucer of milk. <laughs> anyway, it, you, got, I, you got one of these? You got one of these? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, oh well, it, it, no, it's a snake, not a serp, not a not a uh, not a lizard. lizard. No, no, there's, there's So this one doesn't have the uh, two penises. No, no, no it's uh, <laughs> it's actually not even a real snake. It's just uh, it's a ceramic facsimile of a snake. Yeah, yeah. I would say a cobra. I think it's a cobra. Have you ever have you ever uh, held a snake in your hand? No, I haven't. Uh, not a snake. What have you, what have you had? <laughs> what happened? What happened? I <laughs> Whenever I get around you, everything yes, has a, you know, double know. entendre thing. Terrible things come to mind. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I think that's good, though. Yes, now, what, what, is, what is the message of it? Is it just the story of your life? Is, it, is that what it is? No, it's, it's not really the story. Of my, it's kind of part autobiographical. It right. tells about my, you know, my childhood, my upbringing and everything, and kind of traces all the different stages that a woman goes through, from childhood to young woman, you know, and puberty. You know, there's a lot of things that women are interested in, so it's kind of a book for women and for men who want to know more about women. So that's just about everybody then, isn't it, really? <laughs> There's not a man on earth that goes, I know all about women, I'm good, I got all the information I need, thank well, you. You probably want to skip the part about menopause, but... Oh, um, yeah, well, I don't, I mean, I, I, yeah, probably, I don't, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I just, uh, I don't know how I can help in that regard. <laughs> um, you know, stay out of the way, probably, would be the thing to do. 
Do you know that poster of you in the bikini? Yes. That you signed for me? Yes. It's still hanging up in the green room here. Did you oh, know that? Yeah. No, I didn't see it. Oh, great. And you know when you signed the mirror in my dressing room? Yes. And when you were here last? Yes. It's still there. I won't let them clean it oh, off. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah. I like that. But yeah. that is not the behavior of a married man. Well, you weren't. I was married when you signed the thing oh, okay. on the third. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to take it down now? <laughs> I'll put Don't aside all Megan. my things now. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all right, isn't it? To oh, do that? yes, absolutely. What, I'm, can I, I'm what kind of man flattered. are you looking for for number five, by the way? Oh, gosh, help me. Uh, <clears throat> I don't, I, I'm really not looking too much. Really? No, not, not really, not really scanning the horizon or anything, no. I figure he'll show up. Well, I, I'm sure he will, but uh, <laughs> uh, wouldn't you? Don't you have some kind of idea of what you're, you're looking for? Something younger, oh, something older, mm, something mm, fat, not, thin? No, you know. we, I think. Well, you know, the younger men are not all they're cracked up to be. So, I mean, I think it would be nice to be with somebody maybe in their 60s. You know, my side of age, but all the guys at that age want to be with 30-year-old chicks. So that sort of. I don't know if that's true. You're no. Raquel Welsh, for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> You know, it really, it really doesn't matter. You know, in real life, it doesn't. It's sort of, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. It's just the same old, same old. You know, it's difficult to find the perfect person. And congratulations that you found such a lovely young woman in Megan, and you were able to, you know, have well, another wife. <laughs> well, I, I mean, think I'm bleeding. Well, is this three? What? This is the third one, yeah. Yes, you see, you're, yeah. you're, you're catching up with me. Yes, you'll yes, see, I am. You'll see. It's hard when when number four goes, and then you have to look to number no, five. No, no, no. And I, you go, what have I'm I not, not going tried? Beyond, uh, uh, Raquel, I'm not going beyond three. That's it. I'm done. All right, uh, I'm yes. done. I'm, uh, that's it. I have said that, too. What one did you say that one? Oh, I, I've said it each time. I All said, right, this okay. is it. This is it. And then when you get to number five, you say, what haven't I tried? You know. Yeah, I, I said that in Amsterdam. <laughs> oh. And then I tried it. Uh, and I wished I hadn't. <laughs> well, listen, congratulations on that. I mean, Thank getting you. A number three on the best seller. Is there, yes, oh, I'm really this. excited about that. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, just the girl in that bikini, you know, she actually wrote a book all by myself. You did? You didn't use a ghostwriter? No, I didn't. No, I Good didn't. Good for you. I slaved over it. Oh, it's hard, like, isn't it? I've yes, done it twice you, now. I, yeah, oh. I thought it was three times. No, I've, I've read one and wrote two. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, I, no, I don't, I wouldn't write another one. And you one. were on the bestseller list too, right? Uh, yeah, I came on the number four. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah What that's, a shame. Yeah, no, it's terrible. But you got the Peabody Award for but your that, show, which is very prestigious. Yeah, I did, yeah. 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 Which you can't you. have everything. Did you mean, by the way, uh, we're out of time, but I want to say, you met the, uh, the robot skeleton then. Yes, you? I did. Yeah. I, I gave him a little... Hi! Sh how are you? Yeah. Hi. I, yeah, I, I, I've got a feeling he might be gay. I'm not sure. Raquel make Jeff horny. Raquel said, makes what? Raquel Rock make Jeff Cal horny, make he said. Oh, Jeff okay. horny. All right, all right, all right. That's not quite how you go after a woman. Well... I I was going to say he didn't give the gay vibe when I was over it. No, I guess not. He doesn't give out the gay vibe now, Raquel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to get rid of him. Uh. <laughs> anyway, look, it's lovely to see you again. Congratulations you. on the enormous success of this. And, and you look as beautiful as ever. It's lovely to see Thank you. Thank you very much. Raquel Welch, everybody. Raquel. Young lady, you look sensational. I do like that outfit. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, I, I have something similar. 
It doesn't look half as nice on me, though. You have a jumpsuit? I did have a jumpsuit at yes. one point, okay. yeah. It's sort of ever ready, you know, for yeah, any no. occasion. You can use it for many different things. Yes, it you can, can be nighttime or busy utility work. Yes. You can fix your car. Do you fix your own car? No, I do not. All right. Okay. Could you if you had to? I couldn't. No. But I could certainly find somebody who would. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. You could get anybody. I would fix your car and I wouldn't know how to fix your car. But I'd bluff it. Well, maybe you could fix something else. I could. <laughs> deal with that uh, Caruso in that clip there? He, why is he so grumpy? What's wrong with him? Oh, he's very serious. Oh, right. But watch what you say about David, because I have just a little mini obsession with Mr. Caruso. What do you mean a mini obsession? I don't know. I just like him. You like the gingers? I do. <laughs> I do, but it's something about, I don't know, I never know what he's going to do next. And it's kind like of... Carrot Top? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, carrot top right now. Look, uh, carrot top. He's a ginger, and you don't know what he's going to do next. No, 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 no. No, come on. I mean, no, carrot top's great. Have you ever seen carrot top in Vegas? I have actually seen him. <laughs> and he does have a carrot top. Yes. He... I don't know what else is going on with the carrots, but. Uh, you know, he's. Uh, you know, he might have a carrot and use it as. A... Well, look. Anyway, the thing is. What are you doing in this show, the CSI? Is it a... Did you... Did you do it? Well, yes, I... I, I did. You and Caruso, I mean. Did you do it? <laughs> no, but he was very... He was very generous. Yes. And he is very charming. I mean, he is very serious about his role, but, you know, he is trying to find murderers and no good nicks. Yes. So I think it's kind of his part. So I was kind of expecting him to be a lot more dour. Right. But he was really very... Very nice. Really cheerful? Uh, well, cheerful, maybe not cheerful. <laughs> but, you know, he's, he's sort of laid back, you know, he's kind yes. of very cool. And, maybe uh, he's high. Maybe he's one of these people that's enjoying marijuana. <laughs> have you ever, uh, have you... Who, me? Yeah. Uh, you have! <laughs> oh, my God. Now... Now, that's what you said. Yes, that's, that's what I said. It isn't necessarily what you said. You said it using parts of your body that I... I you, you said it another way. Well, uh, yes, well, hmm. I still think that if things are illegal, they're a little more fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. When they legalize knocking off liquor stores, I'm never going to do it ever again. <laughs> There's a certain, I know what you mean. No, but I mean more recreational type yes, of yes, no, illegal I know rather I, than Everybody in Hollywood crime. used to, used to, you know. Yeah, well, they've done lots of things here. Yes, they have, <laughs> that's true. But not yes. so much anymore. I think it's clean Are living. you kidding me? <laughs> what? Really? I thought that, it, I mean, I thought everyone drank wheatgrass and went home. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I know about this then? I thought that... Well, Craig, you know, I think if people are, like, working and they're doing the 17-hour days and, you know, they're, they're having a hard schedule, I think they probably aren't up to so much right. um, fun. Um, but I, I do think that there's a lot, a lot of people who are indulging in all kinds of things. I mean, I know so. I mean, they're all can the you, time, like, can you give way me, out there. Can you give me any examples of stuff that I could do? Um, <laughs> I think and where I could go to do them? Mm -hmm. I think you're pretty well acquainted with lots of that. Not so much. I am. I'm very. I'm very. Yeah. Oh yes, you straightened up your act quite a lot. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. are you having fun? No. <laughs> no, I have fun. I have fun. I enjoy. Uh, uh, <laughs> not much. No. No, I'm doing fine. So how's married life treating you? It's good, it's good, I like it, yeah. And, and your, your new baby, or actually now, how he's, old he's, is he's over a year now, he's walking. Actually, he can drive, and... Uh, <clears throat> so, see, you're going to have to watch out for what he gets up to, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yes. that's part of parenting. Yeah, yes. yeah, you have, to, you have to say, no, you can't, you can't just take a poo there. There's, there's rules about it. There's rules about it. We're not in Germany, son. We, you can't just poo anywhere. No, the okay. Germans don't do that. I, I just, I made that up. I like your hair. Your hair looks fantastic. Well, thank you. It's very kind of liony. Yes, yeah. it's very lion. It's very kind of. Arr, arr, arr. Yes. Did you ever go to that LA Zoo there? No. 
The flamingos up there smell something awful. They do. Oh, they're terrible, aren't they, Jeff? Oh, they smell horrible. They're terrible, yeah. They're terrible. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi. Is, is having sex with a robot still illegal? <laughs> Depends how you do it, I think, really, isn't it? Are you... Well, you do, oh, never mind. Well, do I have sex with the robot? No, I, I don't have sex with the robot, but he know. likes to pretend that you I know, do. I mean, there... Oh, there's so many things. <laughs> so many choices in this world, you know. They just try to keep it simple. Yes. Well... Well, you can have a lot of fun just sort of... Mm -hmm, just... <laughs> Where are you going with this? Uh, I don't know. You're, you're, you're in charge here. Yeah, all right. Uh, so, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Raquel Wells, everybody. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Now, I'm just talking to my friend Raquel about what was the thing that was going on in the Lincoln Center? What happened there? Oh. Well, it was really, um, I was very honored because they called and they said that they would like to do, the Lincoln Center Film Society would like to do a retrospective of my film work. Nice. And I thought, what, my film work? Was it, no, was it a, was it a real guy or was it, you know, was it just a... <laughs> no, it, it was really a was robot. Like, no, no, but I mean, was and it... And he was smoking weed. Was he was like... Hey, baby, I'd really like to do a retrospective of your movie. <laughs> it, that was a real, no, it really no, the Lincoln Center. No, it was the real deal. And I was like, I was very, very honored. Yeah. And so I spent five days in New York, and we did all of these screenings of my different movies. And, and did you do a Q&A after? I did Q&As and all of that kind of stuff, and it was lots of fun. Yeah, so what movies did you show? Well, they started out with uh, one, one million, million years, years BC, BC yes, and Fantastic Voyage, and then Myra Breckenridge, right? And then they did Three Musketeers, and they did Hanny Calder, and they did um, Kansas City Bomber, oh, and yeah. oh, I don't know, I can't remember all. all that, you know the scene in uh, Fantastic Voyage when you're wearing that tight outfit and all the little <laughs> Andy bodies stick on you like that? That's yes. a pivotal moment in my life. It that was, thing. It was a pivotal moment. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And. Um, and, and, and that film actually provided me with my first crush on an actor in, in, in that movie because that I was uh, my leading man uh, was Stephen Boyd and he had one of those wonderful little clefts in his Oh, one chair. of them uh, Kirk yes. Douglas things. Uh, now, was, uh, what, was he Scott? Uh, sure. <laughs> But he had a wonderful you accent. We don't all know each role. other, you know, right? I didn't mean that. No, I didn't mean that you no, did. I but I mean, it was just, you know, he just had a lot of charm. And uh, you like uh, you like a bit of Scottish, then? Uh, yeah, I, I do actually. I like I like accents. It's fun. Aye, that's true. There's uh, many accents available. Uh, a lot of people say my accent's going to wane. It's going to wane. It's going to no. See, that's why I asked. That's why I have to be careful. People, as Scottish people say to me, your accent's not, doesn't, you don't sound Scottish anymore. Well, are they crazy? Yes, 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 but apparently <laughs> I'm getting very Americanized. Oh, I doubt that. No, I mean, no, it's not that, I mean, I know that you're really proud to be an American oh, yeah. and all of that, and, and, and uh, but I, I think that you're very, very, yes. Scottish? Very, very Craig Ferguson and Scottish and, and, and not exactly the, you know, run of the mill, which is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Because, you know, you're one of a kind, in a sense. As are you. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Flattery will get you everywhere. Yeah, yeah. All right, listen, uh, we're out of time. Well, we're not out of time, but they have to go. So, um, <laughs> what about, uh, how do you fancy finishing up? Do you want a mouth organ, an awkward pause, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? I'll have a, no. Uh, I guess I, I probably should go for the big cash prize. Mm -hmm. What time is it, Shadow Steven? It's time for the big cash prize. Prize, here's, a, here's how you win. Very easy. $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Two ways to win. You can Don't touch the bag oh. until you've earned it. Now, uh, two ways to win. You can either answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You guess what's in it. If you're right, he'll tell us. If you're wrong, something awful will happen. Oh, guess what's in it? Yes. What's in your box? Yes. Oh. <laughs> question or box? <clears throat> box, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Jeff? Mm -hmm. I'm imagining a box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, There's something in it. 
Raquel, what is in my box? Oh. <laughs> what is in your box? Uh, blah, blah. Oh, dear. Um, some relatives? <laughs> I met a couple backstage. I don't know. I know. Yes, yes. I know they're not that small, but I don't know what size your box is. <laughs> What is in my box? We would have accepted Carrot Top, but yes, relatives is relatives the answer. Is the correct answer. Uh, Janice in West Lafayette, Indiana says, uh, Dear Craig, Jeff and Secretary, mild or spicy salsa? For me, spicy. Jeff, for you? Spicy. And for you, Secretary? <laughs> Oh, not, no salsa at all. <laughs> Spicy? <laughs> no salsa, but if you have salsa. <laughs> no salsa. <laughs> Let me get this straight. No salsa, but if you do have salsa. <laughs> that's, that's so stupid. <laughs> this is from Melissa in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, hold on, hold on. I wonder, hey, Melissa, if you come to Los Angeles, bring your white trousers. <laughs> Hello, Craig and Jeff. My roommates and I play a drinking game where we have to take a drink every time Liam Neeson, Sean Connery, or a Michael Caine impression appears on your show. Do you find this troubling? I don't mind it at all. <laughs> Jeff? Quickly, there is no time. Drink it. <laughs> yes, I think it's probably best if you drink it down to the last dropped. <laughs> I don't care for salsa, but if I do have some. <laughs> I don't like salsa. But if I ever... <laughs> If you're going to have salsa, you might as well get spicy salsa.